Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester and I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2018 on an 18 plate. It is the little Mini Cooper S uh, Countryman Hybrid Plug-in Electric, uh, all four and there's a few other badges I'm pretty sure you can chuck on there as well. Bit of a mouthful isn't it? Um, basically, this is currently my mother's car. It is a two keeper from new vehicle. It has covered 33,000 miles. It has a full mini main dealer service history with it. Uh, plug-in hybrid, so what does that mean? So you've uh, literally got a plug-in hybrid. So uh, fully charged on electric in the summer, you're gonna be looking at, uh, I think it's about 22 miles in the winter, depending on how cold and it gets and how much you use your heaters. Uh, it can come down a lot from there, so sort of about 15 miles. Now that, admittedly, doesn't sound a lot. Um, but in actual fact, in reality, um, certainly for my mother that lives outside of Worcester, traveling into Worcester and back out, which uh, is about seven miles each way, uh, means she can do it on full electric. Uh, the beauty of it also is, is obviously you've got that 1.5 litre petrol engine um, which is combined with that electric motor. It seems to keep sort of like 10% in reserve for the electric motor, um, which having uh, used it to drop her down to Heathrow Airport, which is where she's currently on holiday and doesn't know I'm videoing her car, um, means uh, it's quite quick, I've got to say. On the motorway, it's surprisingly quick. Um, and um, through the hybrid sort of technology, it keeps that 10% sort of, of battery, uh, well, when I say 10%, it keeps an element or percentage of battery in reserve, um, which combined with the petrol engine makes it quite a rapid little thing, to be fair. Um, now, this is, I would say, a good spec countryman. Um, obviously, they can vary so much, can't they, depending on um, how you spec them from new. Um, but the pan roof uh, is a big plus for us. Um, and uh, you know, you've got Apple Wireless, Apple CarPlay, electric windows, electric mirrors, climate control, um, reverse parking sensors, front parking sensors, obviously alloy wheels. Um, it'll all be listed in the advert. You can, you can have a read through and just double check um, sort of specifications. You've got a bit of rear privacy glass on the back there that makes it look nice as well, isn't it? And I think it looks really well in the blue metallic with the white roof. Now, the purpose of our videos is to give you walks and all video walk around of the vehicle so you know exactly what it is that you're buying. We point out any uh, bad bits as well as the good bits so you know exactly what it is that you're buying and then you can make the informed decision whether this is the vehicle for you or not. The vast majority of our commercial customers buy having watched the video, leave a deposit and come and collect or leave a deposit and get the vehicle delivered out to you. So there's a couple of different options to think of. Um, so we always start off on the commercials up there on the roof and the roof is in good overall condition. We have a stone chip here, which I will get uh, touched in for you, but you've got that lovely big opening panoramic roof as well. Um, and you've obviously got the roof rails. It looks nice, doesn't it? In contrast with the blue. And obviously you have your nice white mirror caps as well. Uh, front windscreen, uh, there are minor stone chips on the windscreen, I won't lie to you, um, but there's nothing there that's gonna cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time. Obviously, if there is, uh, we'll end up putting a screen in it, but um, you know, I'm talking about kind of microchipping really, as I say, nothing major. Coming down onto your bonnet, uh, the bonnet is in good overall condition. Uh, there are minor stone chips on the bonnet, nothing major again. Uh, I reiterate you are buying a used motor vehicle, um, but um, you can see, you know, I'm stood here now probably about a metre away from the vehicle. You can see it looks neat and tidy, doesn't it? Um, front grills and front of the front bumper are in good condition with no damage. Your passenger side headlamp unit, it does have auto lights on it by the way, passenger side headlamp unit is in good order and your passenger side front bumper corner again in good overall condition with no major scuffing. Uh, front uh, DRL lights are in good order with no damage and if we look down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle you can see it's in great condition. Take note of the gleam you're getting off the bodywork, it's got a, yeah, it's a nice polished finish to it um, and it's nice straight and tidy. 
Coming around to the driver's side, driver's side headlamp unit is all good. Driver's side front bumper corner, again, all good with no damage. Again, front fog lights all looking good. And again, if I get down on the creaky old knees and show you the side of the vehicle from this angle, you can see there are no major dents or dings to point out. In fact, there's no dents or dings on the vehicle, full stop, okay? Driver's side sort of front wing and arch. It's difficult with the Mini because it all kind of like combines into one thing, doesn't it? But you can see no marks on the arches. Alloy wheel on this side, we have a Dunlop Sport Max tyre on it. Uh, we have measured that tyre, it's got five millimetres of tread depth on it. Alloy wheel's in good condition with no damage. Side repeaters are all good. Wing mirror units, both front and back are in good order. And your driver's side door glass is also in good order as well. Coming down to your driver's side door, um, that's in good order, as is the rear. We have a couple of minor touch-ins to do on your door edges, um, but again, nothing major. So we'll get touch-up stick ordered up for it, just get those touched in for you. Um, same with any minor chips that we see anywhere else. Lower sills all looking good with no damage. We mentioned rear doors all good. Rear privacy glass on this side, on the back end fuel filler there for your fuel for your petrol I should say and rear uh, alloy wheel this side also in good condition uh, it's just had a couple of brand new Firestone tyres fitted onto the back end um, so those are all as I say as new and then looking down the side profile of the van of the vehicle the, the van uh, commercial um, of the car from this side you can see nice and tidy isn't it Rear light unit this side's all good and rear bumper corner this side with rear reflectors all good as well. Round to the back of the vehicle, obviously rear tailgate, back end of the vehicle is in good condition as well. Another viewpoint of your roof, high level brake light, rear window, nice to see there's no scratches in the glass and then rear tailgate itself all looking good. Rear bumper is in pretty good condition, to be fair. You know what they're like. They can get scratched and scuffed from people getting stuff in and out. But as you can see on this one, it's in pretty nice, tidy condition. Opening up your boot. Uh, it's a decent sized boot on it. Uh, Mom doesn't have a dog or anything, so it's all nice and tidy. As you can see, all the carpet's tidy. And then just under here, we have... <laughs> A bit of mom storage but also your storage for um your tire flat kit and your plug-in charger for the electric element of it um you know inside of the tailgate all your plastics again nice and neat and tidy rear light unit this side's all looking good and then rear bumper corner this side all good with no damage and then if we look down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle you can see all good Alloy wheel this side, again with a brand new Firestone tyre fitted to it, alloy's all good as well. Rear quarter all good, door glass etc, all looking neat and tidy, as is your passenger side rear door, onto your front door, glass etc, mirror unit all good, mirror glass good, door handles are good, and then getting down low, just check out your sills, those are in good condition as well. And then this side is where you would plug it in to charge it from the front there. You get an app with these things. It will tell you how long it needs to be charged to get it up to full charge. Gives you, you, you can dial into it and see your range and all of that malarkey on it. I'm sure there's a lot of other features as well. I don't really pay any attention to them. Um, passenger front wheel, uh, alloy wheel again, all good and marked. You've got another Dunlop Sport that matches your Dunlop Sport on the front axle on the other side as well. So overall, on the outside, let's give you an overview of this side. I'll give you an overview of the other side when I go back round there. But it looks a really nice, respectable car, doesn't it? <clears throat> Opening up your door inside. So, rear door card, again, clean and tidy with no signs of any abuse. Your entry seals and plastics are in good condition. Let's move the paper mat out of the way the valance is left in it. And your rear seats, as you can see. Uh, they have isofix on your two outers. The back of the rear seats are in good condition. They've been battered to death by kids. Carpets inside are all nice and clean. They're not ingrained with sand and stuff. And then just another viewpoint of your pan roof there. Obviously, you've got blinds that you can close for the roof. 
And then passenger door card, again, nice and clean and tidy. Door shuts, clean. Entry seals and plastics are clean. And then again, carpet side, carpet mats inside, all good. Blah. Opening up your glove box, it's full of some mom stuff, put your handball packs in there as well. And then top of the dashboard, etc. all nice and tidy. Seats, all good. And let's pop that paper mat down there. Going around to the driver's side, your driver's side door card, all good. Again, entry seals and plastics inside are good. Carpet mats throughout. Back of the seats all good. And just another viewpoint of the back seats from this angle. Driver's side door card, again, clean and tidy. Electric windows and electric mirrors. Central door locking and your handle there. Fuel flap releases in there. Excuse mom stuff in the door pockets, but obviously that will be removed. And then entry seals and plastics this side are good. Carpet mats in this side are good. Driver's side seat, etc. Nice and tidy. Now we have auto lights. Um, we have uh, headlamp levelers, dashboard illumination, rear fog lights are here. Your vent, as you can see, is in good working order. And then we have a nice leather multifunction steering wheel, which is giving you cruise control plus your speed limiter and your multifunction computer system. It has Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. To turn the vehicle on, just hit the, hit the start button here, uh, and then that activates your vehicle. Different driver profiles. It's all um, controlled by this um, system down here. So if we hit the menu button, you can see we have wireless Apple CarPlay. We tend to run Apple CarPlay, Apple phone, so that's why it defaults to that. Media obviously gives you DAB, FM, AM, um, all different sort of options that you can have on here as well. Uh, so you do have uh, factory navigation as well as your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, climate control, as you can see on here, uh, max aircon, aircon, air recirculation, heated rear window, and max everything up at the front windscreen. We have parking sensors here. We can choose different e-drive modes. Obviously your start stop button, your electronic stability program, and then your little sport or economy mode button as well. Auto box, um, yes, you can flick it and do it manually if you want to, but you'll never do it. Uh, electronic handbrake, and then obviously all of your systems here to do with your uh, iDrive system. So your map, your media, um, navigation, etc., on there as well. Uh, little armrest with storage in here and auto dim rear view mirror. We have the controls for your pan roof up here. Uh, and that I think is about it. I've taken photos under the bonnet if you wanted to have a look under there. Um, but overall, that's the vehicle. There are 60 to 70 uh, photos of this vehicle on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are based in Worcester, in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call, 01905 672 080, or email us at sales at vanstoday.com. Uh, and if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. And that, I think, is about it. Should you wish to be kept up to date with our latest purchases, then please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like and subscribe, folks. Uh, and thanks for looking. There's about 40 minutes of your life that you'll never get back. But if you are interested in buying this vehicle, it gives you a very honest appraisal of exactly what it is that you're buying. Cheers.